Oh shit, I'm recording. <laughs> that was fake as fuck. Hey y'all, what's going on? It's your ah. What's going on, crypto cousins? It's your Bitcoin baby daddy Kenzie with another episode of Just the Tips. Sorry, y'all. I was just working on my little intro. Got somebody working on an intro for me. Y'all just wait to see it. But let's go ahead and get into the news real quick today. We got some real bad news today. Some real bad news. But if you've been listening to my channel for a while, you've been watching my channel for a while. This bad news shouldn't be nothing surprising to you. But before we get into that, if you like what you see, please hit the... <laughs> no, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to save it for the end of the video. But let's go ahead and get into this news real quick. So, the CBOE withdraws rule change request to list Bitcoin exchange traded fund. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We done. We done. It's a wrap. Bitcoin's done, y'all. Let's go. Give up. It's a wrap. Nah, guys. So, let's go ahead and get into this article real quick. Um, so the CBOE um, equity exchange is apparently withdrawn. So the people who actually were, no, let's get through the article first. Um, so apparently have withdrawn the request for the rule change by the United States SEC, according to an official not notice published on January 23rd. That is today now. So if we go here, this is the official um, request. And yes, they officially requested that they do not um, propose so pretty much they took their proposal rule change and they took it back so what happened was um let's just switch this real quick so apparently so what happened was the cboe and vanek said hey here's a proposal here's a request there's a rule change so the sec was like okay we're gonna take your etf proposal and rule change and we're gonna review it so the sec has been reviewing it for the past year and next month, I believe on the 27th, I believe this thing actually tells you the exact date that they were going to have it in, but I don't think the exact date really matters. Yeah, but the exact, but pretty much next month was going to be the last day they were going to be able to decide on this ETF and Vanek and the, um, the CBOE and Vanek decided, you know what? We're just going to take it back. We, we don't even want you guys to look at it no more. So instead of getting a denial, now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you guys already know, I've been calling that this thing was going to get denied. And instead of getting denial, we got a full blown, Hey guys, you know what? We just going to take it back. We don't even, we don't even want to talk. We just going to take it back. We just going to come back with it. So now the ETF is not on the table. Why is this ETF so important? Why is this exchange traded fund so important? What it is, it is allows certain individuals with massive amounts of money to invest in Bitcoin because as we know, Bitcoin was made for the little guy. Um, if you were smart enough or, or if you were in the know enough a couple years back, you were been, Coinbase has been a while, around for a while. So, you know, I believe since like 2014 or 15, if you would have known back then, you would have been able to buy it like me and you would have been able to buy Bitcoin and just put it in our wallet. So individuals with large sums of money, they don't trust Coinbase. They don't want to put like they're, they're not going to do that. They need somewhere where they can buy bulks of Bitcoins and actually control it themselves. So this ETF was going to be a way for like it's going to be a um, financial instrument that allows them to buy Bitcoin because they don't trust these exchanges. This is something new to them. Like when we're talking about people with big money, we're talking about old white rich money. That's the kind of money we're talking about. And yeah, they, they just said, you know what? We're just going to take it back. They need these kind of instruments to, so this, the, they need these kind of instruments to invest in Bitcoin or if they're in the know, they can go to the OTC markets, but um, blah, 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 these need, nah, nah, nah. but that's pretty much what an ETF is. And yeah, they were just like, no, we're, we're just going to rescind it. Now, I know this is bad news because people were thinking, man, these rich white folks is fun to get in. We all fun to go to the moon when they buy. But like I said, this is, this is Bitcoin y'all. This is something that like a lot of governments really don't trust. This is something that a lot of governments doesn't want to succeed. Let's just be real. 
it's going to be a long uphill battle for Bitcoin. Because you have to think about it. It disrupts the entire financial system. It completely disrupts it. Like, it's a competition to the dollar. It literally is. And so, this isn't something that the U.S. government wants, like, an ETF for. Like, so that way more people can get rich. Like, let's just be real. The government doesn't want the people to get rich. They want to get rich and give it back to the people at a premium. So, like I said, guys, this is definitely going to be a long, um, this is going to be a definitely a long uphill battle that we're going to, if you're hey, if you're here with me, we're going to be battling it to the end. But also wanted to show something else. And this is why I'm really happy about this. So the news came out today that the ETF has been denied, right? The Bitcoin markets has had no effect at all. None. Zero. You would think people would be selling their life away like, no, fuck this. Sh-. Can't curse. But nothing. You know what that tells me? That tells me either we're at the bottom and all the weak hands are gone or that we're close to the bottom. That's all I'm going to say. But if you like this content, let me go ahead and switch back so you can see my face. But if you like this content, leave get if you like this content, leave a comment below and let me know what you want to know about Bitcoin and blockchain and in the cryptocurrency space. Also, like and subscribe and share this with one of your friends, family, whoever it is. Share this content. I need these views. This has been Crypto and Culture, where you get crypto with just a little bit of culture. Check me out next time so I can serve you in my corner. Take it easy, y'all.